Registry in 2 minutes. I am Dr. Megha and today we will discuss about apexification and apexogenesis in brain. Once the tooth erupts into the oral cavity, it takes almost another 3 years for the complete root development to occur. During this time, whenever there is a pulpal injury, it poses a great challenge for the clinician for any treatment because of the wide open apex. There are two treatment modalities depending upon the vitality of the injured pulp that is apexogenesis and apexification. In order to remember which is for what, there is a hack. Apexification, fixation, that is we are fixing something that is irreversibly damaged. So apexification is indicated for a non-vital immature permanent tooth, that is the pulp which is irreversibly damaged or necrotized. Apexogenesis, genesis as the name suggests is something which can be born again. So it is indicated for a young permanent immature tooth in which the pulp is not irreversibly damaged or necrotized. So, apexogenesis is a vital pulp therapy procedure for encouraging the formation or uh, encouraging the continued physiological root development. Whereas, apexification is a non-vital pulp therapy procedure in which an apical stop or a calcific barrier is formed at the apex against which the root canal treatment conventionally can be done. So, apexification uses mainly calcium hydroxide and MTA these days. Apexification involves the complete removal of the inflamed or the necrotized pulp, followed by the placement of a medicament. This medicament can be calcium hydroxide. So, calcium hydroxide itself can be used for apexification, but it takes almost 9 to 24 months for the complete calcific barrier formation. Whereas, if while using MTA, calcium hydroxide can be used for the disinfection of the root canal space after the removal of the inflamed and the necrotized pulp, followed by the placement of an MTA plug, which is around 3 to 4 mm in thickness at the apical barrier, which sets in 2.5 to 4 hours, against which a gutta percha can be compacted and a conventional root canal therapy can be uh, done. Apexogenesis involves the removal of the inflamed pulp only, leaving behind the healthy uninflamed pulp in position. Traditionally, it implied the removal of the coronal pulp, but it actually, in fact, it requires only the removal of the inflamed pulp. So, Schweck's pulpotomy or a pulpotomy even, which involves the removal of only the inflamed portion of the pulp, followed by the placement of a suitable medicament like calcium hydroxide, MTA, biodentine, etc. can also be regarded as an apexogenesis procedure. After the placement of the medicament, the patient is to be called every three months for an evaluation. I hope the basic concept is clear for all. I'll be back with another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.